morning family it's tasha mom bear prepping welcome back to the channel welcome to the channel if you are new <clears throat> you already know what time it is pull up get your drink whatever it is you're drinking while you're watching this video whatever time of day it is and let's talk about it so i wanted to bring you guys a little bit of a lighter video this is just a video to give you guys ideas um it comes straight from different ideas i have on my menu planning for grid down now some stuff i want to talk about first before i'm going to give you five ideas for breakfast five ideas for lunches five ideas for dinner uh, I did do a video on grid down snacks. I'll try to find it. That was a while ago and link that for you today. Um, but it's very, very important that um, it depends on the situation and what you have prepared um, to get you through grid down. Okay. And so basically that comes down to one question. Um, do you still have power or not? Meaning, okay, grid down, no power. Now, do you have the ability to produce power for yourself or you do not? Okay. That's huge because that's going to determine your me your menu planning and what you're doing. Um, you know, if you have a way to keep your fridge and freezer going and your chest freezers and things like that going, um, then you can keep those going and you can continue to use from them um, and or not use from them, right? And keep it really, really grid down type scenario and just keep those powered until the power comes up. Um, so there's various plans and things that you can implement depending on what your situation is. Now, if you have no way to power your fridge, freezer, uh, that type of stuff, um, there's there's a game plan, right? It, the number one thing is you're supposed to keep your, your stuff closed right so that you can make it last as long as possible especially if it's a short-term situation right if it's short meaning like within 24 hours it's short you know maybe up to two days that stuff will stay however the minute you start opening and closing open and closing open and closing even if it's just to grab some hamburger out and close it every single time you do that you're you're put you know you're increasing that timeline for that stuff going going bad okay so it's it's super important you either have the power or you don't um for us you know and, and if you don't you need to have a game plan of what you're doing for that freezer food and that refrigerator you're going to be obviously eating stuff as fast as you can and then to preserving food as fast as you can so if you still have ability to can um, food let's say you have a gas um range and you're able to still pressure can i would be pressure canning like a mad woman any kind of meat that i had in those freezers um so that i can make my food last right dehydrate whatever it is you can do right um do that all right now we're going to talk about um kind of a both this menu is kind of both right um our plan is we have generators dedicated just to cooking in the kitchen we have several ways to cook off grid too so um these me me meals don't necessarily have to be cooked you know um you know in an electric skillet let's say you know hooked up to a generator you know a lot of my stuff is um connected still to a crock pot a rice cooker electric skillet however we have about six seven different ways that we could cook outside um to prepare food as well okay just depends on what you're trying to do all right so let's get into it you guys these are my just a few ideas that i pulled that I and I tried to keep my my selection that I pulled for you guys as minimal as possible because I have a lot of menu that it's a little bit more steps right to the cooking but I'm a cook so I'm gonna enjoy it even if it's cooking it on something else in, a, in an off grid situation okay so let's get into it number one for breakfast I have just oatmeal oatmeal packets um you can get the big thing oatmeal right or oatmeal packets i just tend to like those because they're easy you can get flavored ones already um they take very little water um and you get yourself a little um you know a little cup or a little bowl uh, mix it in a little bit of hot water and voila you have some oatmeal okay very very big on carbs and energy boosting um add you some dried fruit some cinnamon um some granola right to that and, and you're pretty full after a bowl of that okay Next thing I have is maybe just granola bars um, and boiled eggs, okay? So boiled eggs would be easy. You boil them. Um, you wouldn't, you don't necessarily have to boil them in, in water. You can boil them in other things. Um, we use broth. I use um, broth for a lot of items for grid down that I would normally use for, <coughs> excuse me, cooking other things, right? Um, 
but on grid down i if i can if i can utilize and cook things and boil things in uh broth i do that vice water to save on my water you guys so boiled eggs and granola bars you could also just pull pickled eggs that you've already pickled from a pickled jar um, and eat a pickled egg and you know have a granola bar and with the granola bars for grid down i try to do a much more um healthier and heavier type granola bars right not your little dinky cheesy cheap granola bars that have no nutrition and um you know no nutritional value and it's just a lot of sweet and i'm not talking about those i'm talking about like cliff bars i'm talking about um stuff that's very very good and could actually be a meal replacement type bar okay next thing i have is eggs and spam scramble so obviously um we can do that over the fire i can do that um over a, a butane stove um we have power in the kitchen um, for grid down, so we'll just be hooking up our electric skillet to the um, gener you know, to the solar generator power bank, and you know you can make that very very quickly. One pan, um, not messing up anything else, right? Um, paper bowl to scramble your eggs. You could just scramble in the pan though, okay? So just cut up the spam you know, sear it up and then, you know, start cracking eggs into the, it straight into the pan if you didn't have a bowl or didn't want to keep using paper bowls, right? You could um, literally do that and then just cook it up, scramble it up, one pan, done. I like scrambled eggs um, on off-grid too because it's very, very easy to clean the pan. Um, you know, uh, over the fire, you know, cast iron, a little bit different, but still scrambled eggs doesn't mess up your pans too much um, if you do it right, okay? Next thing I have is cereal with milk. So obviously, uh, we're going to just pretend grid down. You have no fridge. You have no milk because that milk wouldn't be good for that long unless you're having it immediately to drink it down, right? One of your very first meals is drinking all the milk. Um, you're not going to have milk. But I say cereal because you'd probably, we have cereal in the house. We'd want to get, get it uh, ate up before it goes stale. And um, we'd be getting out the powdered milk, okay? Um I don't know if you've had cereal powdered milk. I grew up on that stuff, so it's it's not that bad. And if especially if you're a cereal eater, you know, that might be an option. It's very, very easy. And then a, a lot of people too, you can get some healthier options for cereal and just eat it dry without without milk if you wanted to. Okay. Another thing I have is cream of wheat. I love cream of wheat. Very easy. Um, one pan. Um, I don't know if you've ever cooked it, but if you cook it. It's very easy cleanup, right? Doesn't destroy the pan really with you cooking it. You can add dried fruit to it, add some raisins to it, add some cinnamon or some butter to it. It's very, very delicious. <coughs> now, if you have, um, you know, you have a lot of bread, right? And you have uh, maybe the skillet that's connected to, to the, uh, to a solar generator of some sort, okay? Um, you could be making uh, French toast. I choose French toast a grid down over pancakes because pancakes takes water. You could try some other stuff for the pancakes, but I just always like the way that water tastes with it. Um, so, but grid down, I, I stay away from that because again, it's water usage. And I'll just, if we have bread or if we have bread in the freezers, which we always do, I can take that out and then I can do the eggs with some, some cinnamon and um, make some French toast, okay? Again, one pan, dip your bread, and then boom, you know, make some, some good French toast. When it's grid down, I try to think of stuff too that is filling and very easy to make and less water as possible, okay? But there's all types of stuff you could do. Those are just a few ideas for breakfast, okay? Next thing I have is lunch. Okay, so number one is uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, right? Have bread, whether we have bread out or bread in the freezers. Bread, even think about this, grid down. Um, that bread is, could stay in there for a while. And then even if you don't have a way to power and eventually it defrosts, it's fine. Obviously, that bread eventually over weeks and weeks and weeks, it, it's going to start to go bad, right? Um, but bread, you should be kind of okay with, okay? So peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, that's right from your shelf, right? Shelf stable uh, food, and you just go. Next thing I have is ramen or cup of noodles. Again, ramen you know, paper bowl, put the ramen in, put a little bit of water in there, um, boil some water and just pour it over the noodles and then just let them sit. Um, cup of noodles is even better because it has its own uh, vessel, right? So you don't have to worry about using any kind of paper cups or paper bowls. You just use that vessel. Again, 
um, a little bit of water and, and put it in there. Again, this is a, a, another one that you could substitute and um, heat up some broth and just do broth over the noodles or broth over um, the cup of noodles, right? You don't have to necessarily use your water, okay? Again, that I like that. Um, additionally, you could throw in um, some, um, any kind of leftover leftover meats or anything like that that you have in your fridge that you're trying to get rid of. Um, you could throw a pickled egg in there. Um, lots of different things that you could do with that, okay? Next thing I have is hamburgers and hot dogs. This is really one, if you have meat in your freezer and you don't have a way to, um, you know, you don't have a way to power it to just cook it and you're cooking stuff on the like barbecue, right? You're just trying to cook up the meat, cook up the meat, do that. Can it and preserve it any way you can. If you can dry it out, cool. Um, but if you've got hamburgers, hot dogs in there and you're trying to, that's the type of stuff where we're pulling out the barbecue and we're just going to cook off that stuff um, to eat that type of stuff. And that really could be lunch or dinner. Um, but we're, that's, we're, we're going through that stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. So next thing I have is uh chicken salad with uh, pickled eggs. So one of my favorite things is canned chicken, throw some, some mayo. We have a, a ton of mayo and mustard packets. Um, uh, mustard doesn't go bad. You don't need that to be a refrigerator mayonnaise. You do though. Um, but if you have the mayo packets, that's, that's perfect for off grid. Um, basically I just went on Amazon, got me a case of the mayo packets, a case of relish, a case of um, mustard and then you just take a can of chicken add the stuff that you want maybe cut in some pickled eggs into it or you could if you had boiled eggs left over from breakfast whatever right um cut that into it and then boom you have a delicious chicken salad that you can put on a saltine cracker or some other type of cracker and and just eat if you still have bread left over you can make it into a sandwich it's super delicious super filling it's one of my favorite go-to off-grid sandwiches or lunches okay and then the last one I have is quesadillas. So again, this is an easy one because if you're getting trying to get rid of cheese, um, whether it's you're trying to get rid of cheese out of your fridge, or maybe you're powering it and you still have cheese, or maybe you've pulled out some freeze, some dry freeze cheese that you bought from Thrive or some other place, um, and you have some tortillas, you can fry those out on um, on a barbecue or on a flat pan. You can do that on an open flame on a, a cast iron. You can do that in the skillet if you have it plugged into a, a solar. Um, but very easy, get you you know nice big tortillas, put your cheese down. And voila. <clears throat> and if you still have power and you still have stuff that's in your fridge, like, you know, fresh avocado or, or sour cream or some other stuff, guacamole, something that you can add to it. Awesome. Okay. Or if you have meat, okay, there's a, there's a thousand ways that you could do that, but just a plain cheese quesadilla, um, goes a long ways in this family. Okay. And it's super, super easy to do no matter what, um, alternate cooking source you're using. Okay. All right, so let's go to dinners, you guys, my dinner ideas. So my my uh, grid down thing is MREs. Um, I'll, so you have military grade type MREs that you can buy online and then you have um, homemade. You can make your own homemade MREs, okay? I did two videos where one, I explained what MREs were and then did another one where it was homemade MREs, some that I have made that I've done. And so you simply can just start pulling those out giving them to the kids and eat. everybody has their own MREs that can last them through the days. I build mine for a full day. So it literally, the MRE has breakfast, lunch, dinner. So we're talking about ideas for lunch, breakfast, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, but you in theory could build MREs that you handed out that were for the whole day, essentially, okay? And so I'll definitely link that video so you can see what I'm talking about to just give you some ideas. Those is what you can pull out for grid down, okay? But you have to have a little bit more than that because you want to be depending on depending on how long the situation lasts, right? Those are awesome. If it only lasts a week and you have enough for a week for your family, those are great, okay? Um, and then you're not doing anything, right? You're not really cooking at all because everything is right there. The only thing you're possibly doing is your family's warming up stuff as they need it, okay? All right, next thing I have is black bean rice soup um, with some flour tortillas. Um, oh, is it Ready Hour? I think it's Ready Hour, the black bag. They sell a black bean rice soup Ugh, to die for you guys, okay? Yes, you have to add water to it, but it is super filling. It is super delicious. It's one of the most delicious soups that I have had from an emergency food type place, right? 
they all have mac and cheese. They all have different renditions of different things, but they have a black bean and rice soup that is good. And then you just pull out some flour tortillas, heat those up, and then just have that with some flour tortillas. Super, super good. Again, throw some, some, you know, some sour cream or chives on it if you still have some stuff going on in your fridge, okay? Um, next thing I have is canned soup. When I say canned soup, this could be store-bought canned soup, family size, um, or a couple family size ones, depending on how big your family is, right? But think about soups that have that are all inclusive, right? They have a potato, right? They have a potato or rice. They have you know a hearty carb or grain. They have uh, a vegetable and they have meat in them. So you want something that has kind of all of that stuff together. Um, and the heartier, the better. Okay. And so this could be canned soups that you buy this could be chicken and dumpling soups that you buy this could be chilies even that you buy um and then you add some some veggies to it um but this could be soup that you canned right that you canned um and you have on your shelf you can some stew and it has vegetables and potatoes and meat in it you just simply pull that bad boy out heat it up in a pan easy day and i don't know about you but that doesn't even make a mess in your pan that much either whether you're doing it in the electric skillet on with power or if you're doing it over a fire in a pan it it doesn't make a huge huge mess okay um but it's great it's filling again you could add some um some different things to it tortilla whatever okay bread um next thing i have is a fried rice right very easy make your rice and then you're just adding canned stuff to it adding your choice of canned meat to it maybe you add some chicken maybe you just add some pork to it um add um add a couple eggs right um fried eggs to it all types of things that you can do maybe you add some frozen vegetables if you're trying to get rid of some frozen vegetables right peas and carrots maybe you're trying to um add a can of corn to it Whatever the case may be, you're just making rice and you're just adding your favorite things, things that your family likes to make a one big pot of um, rice, okay, that everybody can eat on. Uh, next thing I have is, uh, uh, and, and a tip on that too, is there's all types of rices that um, kind of are like pre-made. A lot of people make their rice and then dehydrate their rice. So all, all it has to be done is rehydrated. And then it's much quicker than waiting for rice or beans to cook. Um, so there's a lot of easy ways to make that meal very, very quickly, okay? Um, another thing is, um, that I like for grid down uh, a dinner idea is baked potatoes, large potatoes. You can throw them on the fire, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if that was too loud for some of you guys. Um, baked potato. And then again, once they're done, you can add whatever canned meat, uh, canned chili, um, whatever you can pour over that. Okay. Um, a gravy you could pour over it. Um, there's a, there's a ton of different things that you could do, right? Um, some ideas, if I did baked potatoes, I'd probably pull out some cubed pork that I have canned, that I've pressure canned. Um, we love pressure canned pork, uh, cubes, pull out some of that, pull out some, um, either some spinach or some, uh, corn, maybe both, add those to the cube, heat it up and, and pour that over the, um, potatoes buttered you know baked potatoes or on the side right baked potatoes that you have you know some some melted butter on and then have on the side some cubed um some cubed pork meat with some with some uh, other vegetables or maybe it's carrots and, and spinach um, the sky's the limit and this could be a variation of stuff you pre you know vegetables that you've either have frozen and you still have them there and trying to get rid of or it can be canned stuff or it can be stuff that you've pressure canned or vegetables you've water bathed or whatever okay uh, or pickled okay think about that stuff keep in mind that you're using all the fresh stuff in your house that you can so to keep in mind any fresh fruits and vegetables you have in the house incorporate those in the meals that you're cooking because that stuff's going to go bad unless you're preserving it right away you're dehydrating it you're going through all that stuff same thing that fridge you've got to go through all that stuff okay you've got to start there don't start with your pantry if you know you don't have power for the fridge eat up everything you possibly can quickly in the fridge so your first few meals should still be something you're trying to utilize from the fridge until you can't no more. And then again, freezers and meats and other little things that you have that are frozen that you're going to lose if you can pressure can it, can't, right? If you can water bathe it, can't pressure can it. If you can dry it, however you can do it, try to preserve that food because you're going to lose it. 
and then you're for sure going to be having to go to the pantry. I like pre-done things. I like stuff that's already planned out. Um, there's certain things we go to when it's grid down. Uh, we have obviously ways to power our stuff. We still have a plan to continue to work down the fridge just so that we can eliminate that from our plan of cooking when um, so we're not having to power that um, you know, moving forward, right? We would power it at first, the, the combo, right? We would eat that down and then we would stop powering that and then it would just be the chest freezer. And then if at any point we felt like this is going too long or our solar banks got compromised and they weren't working anymore, the plan is to obviously pressure can and, and start preserving anything in that chest freezer, okay? So think it through, think about your plan, do this, start writing down ideas, watch other videos for other ideas. Um, so that you can figure out stuff that you and your family like and what will be easier, okay? Um, and I'll see you guys. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are getting the things. Um, staying topped off is super important right now, right? Staying topped off, getting ahead of stuff that you know that, you know, the enemy might do to us um, and basically preparing for things that they might do, okay? Um, and I wish you guys the best, all right? And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Take care.